Hi, I'm Mary Logston, and once again, here I am at your library. Have you gotten on the Downton Abbey bandwagon? Um, if so, if you're a fan of the program that's uh, currently on uh, public television these days, you might want to go back and see the earlier seasons of Downton Abbey, all of which are available at the Ames Public Library in our DVD collection. If you're not aware of our DVD collection at the library, I'd like to point out that we do have um, TV series available for checkout. They're very popular. As I said, past seasons of Downton Abbey are available, as well as old series such as The Sopranos, if that was something that uh, you missed the first time around on television and are interested in checking it out, it's available at the library. In fact, the library has all kinds of media available for you to check out. Um, and what I have here today is just a small sample, just a little bit of what's available. We do have a wonderful collection of audiobooks for those of you who enjoy listening to your favorite authors, um, stories, uh, fiction as well as nonfiction, mystery, fantasy, literary fiction, whatever it is that we have in print, um, we likely will have something comparable in the audiobook collection as well. So check that out if you want to listen to your stories. We also have a wonderful music collection at the library. Our CD collection uh, includes a number of genres. We have pop, rock, blues, um, classical music, opera, uh, holiday music, um, world music. So I do encourage you to stop by the library to see our CD collection um, if you're a music fan. Well, that's just a little bit of what we've got at the library. That's not printed book material. Um, today, I want you to know that there is another way that you can get library materials from our website in um, ebook format. So stick around. I have a special guest in just a moment. Well, as I said, today I want to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the um, non-print items that we have here at the library. And when you think non-print these days, uh, you cannot help but think about um, e-books because e-books are very much a part of the reading culture right now um, and probably will continue to be so in an increasing way. Um, I have with me today Justin who is one of our librarians. Welcome, Justin. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, the reason I've invited Justin is because he is the library staff member who's um, overseeing the development of our ebook collection. So I thought it would be best to hear from you. So sure. just give me a little bit of an introduction. Um, what does the library have in terms of ebooks? Well, we've got a wide variety of uh, downloadable ebooks and downloadable audiobooks okay. uh, across pretty much every genre you could think of. Mm -hmm. uh, thousands of thousands of titles okay. uh, available for your Kindle, iPad, uh, smartphone, tablet, uh, pretty much for everything. Okay, so so we have ebooks that you can read as well as ebooks that you can listen to. Correct. Um, I see you have some devices with you here. What, what is it that you've got today? Uh, we've got an iPad here and a uh, Google Nexus here, which is a uh, a tablet okay and you can uh, you can use either of these or uh, a regular e-reader if you have one of those like a, a Kindle or a, a Sony reader mm -hmm. or a Nook mm -hmm. uh, you can certainly get uh, ebooks and audiobooks on any of those devices or even your phone or even a phone okay yeah. so if you have a smartphone um, you could download um, ebooks or audi audiobooks from the library absolutely so what does a person need um, in order to use the service um, who, who has access to the library's downloadable s collection uh, you do have to have a library card okay. uh, and uh, you need to live in uh, in Ames or on a rural route in Story County mm -hmm. uh, in addition uh, you'll if you're using a Kindle you'll need to know your Amazon login information uh, if you're using an iPad, you'll need to know your uh, your Apple ID. All right. Um, other than that, uh, a wireless connection. Okay. 
Is there some special software? I know often when you take advantage of downloadable services on um, online, um, there is a piece of software that it needs to be on your device as well. Correct, yeah. If you're using an, an iPad or any other tablet, you're going to need uh, an app that's free. Okay. Uh, it's called the Overdrive Media Console app. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're just using a Kindle, uh, Kindle e-reader, you won't need an app, but pretty much everything else requires the OverDrive Media Console app. Okay. Yeah. So um, if a person is curious about this and, um, you know, they run right to their computer after watching this program, yeah. um, where on our website would they find um, the actual downloadable collection? Where is it located? Well, if you go to our website, uh, towards the top of the screen, you'll see a, a rectangular icon that says downloadable content. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll click on that. When you click on that page, you'll see a page that has uh, several help guides, mm -hmm. uh, several for everyone, and then some for device-specific items, so uh, guides for your iPad or guides for your Kindle or your Nook. Uh, on that page, you'll see a link that says Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Wilbur is the service that we use to provide ebooks and downloadable audiobooks, and so you would click on Wilbur, and that would take you to our uh, our online catalog for ebooks and audiobooks. Oh, okay. So then once a person is within that online catalog um, on Wilbur, um, can they just do a search in a manner similar to how you would search a library book collection? Absolutely. Uh, at the top, there'll be a, a white search box that you can just type in anything, a keyword, an author, a title. Uh, there's an advanced search if you want to uh, search by genre or mm -hmm. by award winners or by a specific publisher. Uh, so there's okay. several ways to search. What if I'm only interested in um, uh, Kindle books, for example, that particular format? Yep. Is there a way to search to narrow it down so that I don't see everything, but I just see the Kindle books that are available? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, on that advanced search page, you can search by format, and okay. you can just click. It'll say all formats by default. You'll click that. Uh, and then you'll get a list of all the different types of uh, formats we offer. You'll choose Kindle book, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can type in anything else that you want, a specific author or title, or you can just leave it at Kindle and mm -hmm. click search, and that'll only bring back items that are available as a Kindle. Okay. Well, now you did mention that um, we, I don't know if you used the word consortium, but you said Wilbur is yeah. the service that we're using. Um, and that's uh, a consortium of libraries in central Iowa that we're right. all um, pitching in to make available this um, online ebook collection for our um, library patrons to share. Because of that, I know that we've had to impose some limits in terms of how many items you can check out at a time. I mean, it is a that's limited, correct. it's a growing, but it's still a limited collection. Correct. So what are the checkout require, uh, uh, limits? You can have three items checked out on okay. your account at any one time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and that can be any combination. So two audiobooks and one ebook or all three ebooks, mm -hmm. uh, but just three out at one time right now. Okay. And now what if I'm just a voracious reader and I make it through, um, you know, my, my ebook? Um, well, first of all, how long do they check out? For, uh, for how long do they check out? It's 14 days and it's 14 days to the minute. Oh, so okay. <laughs> uh, as soon as you click borrow, there's kind of a countdown timer. And uh, at the end of 14 days, uh, the books automatically return themselves. Okay, so it's, is, are there any fines associated with the books? Absolutely e not. No fines. No fines. Okay, so I've got them for two weeks, but I have a limit of three at a time. So I, if I finish my book in one week and I'm really eager to get another book, is there some way to return it early? Absolutely. Almost okay. every type of format uh, can be returned early. Great. Uh, and if you need assistance with that, we can show you. It's also in the help guides on our, uh, on our website. Okay, so three at a time, two-week checkout, okay. but you can return it early. Yeah. Can you extend the checkout in the way that you renew materials that are on the shelves at the library? You can. Uh, it works a lot like our physical books, uh, you can renew it uh, as long as no one else has it requested. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get the option to renew uh, two days before the item expires. Oh. Uh, so you'll see uh, a little box that says renew and you'll click that and you'll get uh, you'll get 14 more days. Okay, and does that relate to um, audiobooks as well as ebooks yes. to read? Yep. Okay, so that's super. Um, I guess one of the other things I'm curious about, if a person is really excited about doing this, and I know there are a lot of folks in town um, who seem to have gotten uh, iPads or Kindles, um, uh, e-readers for the holidays, and then they come into the information desk with lots of questions. Yeah. You mentioned, ask if we have some questions. Yeah. Um, would you like to share some of the more, um, the scheduled assistance that we have available? Uh, we offer what we call Tech Talk, okay. which is a, 
It's a kind of a course that we do. Uh, we have one for iPad and one for Kindle. Those are our two most popular devices. Uh, we do each device once a month. We also uh, offer another class for our uh, downloadable magazines. And mm -hmm. then this month we're also having a, uh, a drop-in mm -hmm. on, a, on a weekend. So uh, if uh, you want to come in on Saturday on a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be here to assist you in kind of a, a less formal setting. Uh, okay. the, the other Tech Talks are kind of a like an hour and a half long course that okay. we do. Great, and I know that they have been popular, as you yeah. said, and we um, off, we are still limited. We don't have meeting room space here in our temporary library, but we've carved out a little bit of uh, uh, an area where yeah. um, you're able to chat with folks um, yeah. and take them through the steps. Um, if someone attends the text talk and they give it a good, good try and they're still running into some problems, um, I know we do take questions at the desk, yes. so I always like to remind people to give us a call yeah. at 239-5656, um, that's the information desk. Um, you can always um, send us an email, uh, ask a librarian through our website if you're having some difficulty. What do you think is, could you give me an example of like a couple of common questions or stumbling blocks that you've observed now that you've been involved with it for a while? Uh, uh, as far as stumbling blocks go, uh, it's usually just uh, finding the item once you've checked it out and downloaded it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've, I've updated our iPad guide to okay. kind of do a more step-by-step -step, uh, mm -hmm. process for that. Um, really, it's, uh, it's confusing because there's a bookshelf on Wilbur and a bookshelf on your app. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the bookshelf on your app that you use to read the item or listen to the item that you just checked out. Okay, all right. Well, I, I appreciate the fact that everyone comes to us with a different um, different level of expertise and different uh, level of comfort, I guess, with, um, with the new technology. Um, but people are really eager to read yes. online um, and the eBooks are terrific because they're free. Yeah. And as you said, we have thousands of titles. Um, how often are we adding books to the collection? Uh, the consortium, as a whole is adding books all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ames Public Library, we add our own books that only people with an Ames Public Library card can access. Uh, and we add those uh, about once every two weeks. Okay. We're, we're at, we add about 15 books or so every two weeks. All right, so there's a good chance that you could, a, a reader could find something right. um, in, in the downloadable collection. Right, we're, we try to keep it pretty fresh. And you did mention that we also have downloadable magazines and um, that service is called Zinio. Yes. Um, and I think we'll, um, we'll feature that uh, at another one of our At Your Library sessions. I'm glad you mentioned it. So at this point, um, through the library's website, amespubliclibrary.org, um, a person could uh, get to our downloadable ebooks, yeah. audiobooks, um, and magazines. Correct. So, um, well, thank you so much. Is, have we left anything out, do you think? Uh, the only one thing I would say is that you can do this from anywhere. Okay. I've gotten that question several times. Uh, anywhere you have a wireless connection here, abroad, if you're in space, if you <laughs> have a wireless connection, you can get uh, ebooks and audiobooks from the Ames Public Library. That's great. That's great. So our our um, we really it is really remote access. It is into our collection. Well, thanks so much for taking the time today um, to sit down and explain our fabulous service. Oh, well, thanks um, for having me. I know that folks stop by the desk, and um, you've always helped them. Um, and you explain things very clearly to staff as well as the public, so I appreciate your taking the time today to do so for the television audience. Oh, thank you. Um, and please stick around. Um, we're going to feature a few of our new arrivals this month at your library.
so glad you had a chance to hear today from Justin, the librarian who is really um, taking good care of our ebook collection and helping to organize Tech Talks uh, so that you can come by the library for some um, help in being introduced to our library ebook collection. As Justin mentioned, we have Tech Talks uh, weekly, and if you want more details about when in March there will be a Tech Talk that you might want to attend, please be sure to check our Page One newsletter. Page One comes out monthly. The information in Page One is also um, included on our library website. So if you want to know what day we'll be talking about Kindle or iPad or what day we'll be having a drop in Tech Talk, um, just check the library's website, amespubliclibrary.org. Org, or uh, pick up an issue of page one the next time you're in the library. I'm so pleased that you stayed with me today. Um, we have a lot of really exciting things happen at the library. Um, books, music, movies, audiobooks, downloadable books, digital magazines. Um, there is just so much happening here at your library and it's just a pleasure to have a chance to tell you a little bit about it. Once again, this is Mary Logston at your library.